I'm Mohammed Negu. And I'm Wally Orba. We're part of Thresholds, which was a collaborative group project um, to create a triptych. Um, the paintings you can see behind us. Where we also worked with another artist called Camilla Howard, who isn't here tonight. Yes. Okay, so talk to us about your inspiration behind the paintings. Um, well, originally I thought about um, the mezuzah, which is um, literally a prayer at the doorway of Jewish households. And the prayer contains uh, part of the Bible. Um, and the idea is that you're reminded about God every time you step in a, into a house. And I had a project that I wanted to call uh, Prayers at the Threshold. And that was the starting point. And I asked yeah. Mo to share his ideas. So before we submitted, we talked about the ideas we wanted to work on. That was the first step. Yeah, and that process of dialogue um, involved Camilla and, and we kind of took that starting point and, and had a talk about our thoughts towards that theme. Um, and we talked about things like our visions of, of, of what prayer actually means and, and what it means to each of us, but also how we each came to the conclusion that it, prayer is a very kind of prescriptive, you know, right and wrong, black and white kind of description of faith. Um, and we each felt actually faith can be much more delicate and, and much more of a personal kind of relationship. Um, so the, pro the, the project took a different turn and, and kind of talked more about the, both the physical and the metaphorical um, and aspect of doorways, yes. thresholds. So um, I don't know if you should talk about the origin of thresholds, but um, a threshold is literally a step that um, is at the entrance of a house and needs to keep the the hay inside the, the farm or the house. So the idea is that it, it divides the, the house from the outside space. Okay. And we wanted to think about uh, what thresholds mean in religion and we thought about biblical stories to do with doorways and we wanted to actually visit sites around East London uh, of sacred spaces where the doorway exists and compare basically compare doorways to each other in different spaces. Okay. And that was another starting point. That was the real starting point of the project. So how many years have you been doing this, roughly? Oh, no, years. <laughs> <laughs> well, months, sorry. Um, yeah, it's, it's more months. Um, when did we start this? June, July? Yeah, June, in the summer, sorry. The first kind of meeting started in June, July, and, we, you know, we've had, we had several meetings in between, and, and six site visits. We went to, I think all you mentioned, we, we went to East London Mosque, we went to Fieldgate Synagogue, we went to St. Ethel Burgers, Nelson, 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 Nelson Synagogue. Street, yeah. St. So Apple Burgers, which is a really interesting um, kind of place combining, you know, Abrahamic faiths. Mm -hmm. It kind of it was, it was a great, um, you know, device for us. It, it was very thought-provoking to visit there. Yes. And, uh, and from there we made sketches and notes and you know, talked to more and developed the ideas. Um, but it has been a process of months and, and all these, even managed to have a baby in, in between. that time. <laughs> Do you all that have... was my threshold. <laughs> kind of a different phase in my life. Yeah. Do you have specific religions each, or you just? Yeah, we do. Um, yeah. You know, I consider myself I'm a Muslim. Okay. Really, um, I'm coming from a Jewish background, but in a way, it's much more cultural than religious. Uh, okay. I grew up with lots of Bible stories, and it was part of a, an idea of um, just a whole tradition, rather than. Um, so um, my background is Israeli more than an English Jew. So oh, okay. Being, so, what, yeah. so, what do you think about um, events like tonight then? Or do you, what, what's I your opinions about like that? I think tonight is just, um, they're so encouraging. They, they just show a really lovely, positive side of human nature where people try to find a common ground and come towards each other. And uh, for me, this whole project, more than um, religion, it's about just um, common humanity. So I'm, I'm very much into this kind of thing. I think it's, it's easier to hate um, than it is to actually you know, question and try and understand you know, the other, if you like. And I think um, projects like this sometimes take people completely out of their comfort zone. Like, mm. I, I, I've been involved for three years now, and year on year it's, it's kind of evolved and grown, but there have been times where, you know, some of, the, some of the artists, including myself at times, haven't had exposure to people from the other faiths. So in that sense, it, it's, it's an important step. Um, as long as people go away and, and contemplate and, and question their thoughts and, and ideas, and not just you know turn up, do the do the collaborations, whatever, and then go away and go on as normal. <laughs> All right. Lastly, can we have your thoughts about this picture here and how it came about? This, this, this one here. Yeah. This is all these pieces. So I guess I'll let all these take it away. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, the honest truth. 
Um, this picture came about out, out of the discussions we had. I was trying to be a bit more formal. I do draw the human figure usually uh, using ink on paper. But here I actually cut a, a wood, it's, it's made out of uh, woodcuts, and it's a sort of uh, a 2D puppet figure that I carved in my studio. And um, it's supposed to be about how certain doorways affect the way you physically enter the space. And I, I had this idea that the doorway shrinks, and it, uh, as it gets more and smaller, the person is made to bow down and become more and more humble. And it came out of the discussions we had, um, and also just a bit of research. And, um, so that's the main thing, it's, it's about someone kind of entering a sacred space and having to bow down and almost crawl on the floor in order to get into a, a bigger space which is sort of outside the picture. Um, there's also stories inside the picture and I'm very much interested in how stories are forgotten and remembered and are not necessarily easy to access so there's kind of remnants of stories um, more than in the, in the kind of the, the more of a secret layer behind the piece. And uh, they made a woodcut as well. <laughs> did these woodcuts in my studio and printed them and washed them off again so it's about things fading in and out and they're very much influenced by um, old texts and old manuscripts and also looking at the British Library collection of uh, illuminated manuscripts I was very interested in uh, when the human figure was allowed to be represented and when it was banned in different times in the Jewish and Muslim and Christian faiths so it's about having a figure coming in and out of the page you know, just as the stories are. But also, really, I made it just before I gave birth, so inevitably it's about a baby being born <laughs> head first, as you can see. So for me, it's a bit like a, a prayer at the threshold of my life and his life. And uh, here there's actually a lady, and she obviously looks like she's in labour, and obviously me. So that's that. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>